What if we defined an operating system on a single piece of paper? What if we threw away every line of code from the 1970s? What if we designed a general purpose cloud computer that's so simple, everyone can have their own personal server? Welcome to Urbit. Let's watch as your Urbit is born. It begins with one tiny function, knock, a mathematical definition of computing. The whole life of your Urbit is a one-line knock formula. Urbit learns like a child. Everything it knows is something it heard. Everything it can do is compiled from source code in its event stream. First, your Urbit learns to think. We send it a typed functional language, Hoon. First as raw knock, then as self-compiling Hoon. Next, it has to learn to work. So we send it a functional operating system, Arvo, written in Hoon. Within Arvo, we'll install some real skills, like an encrypted peer-to-peer -peer network, a typed revision control system, a functional build system, an application sandbox, and a vault for secrets. Your Urbit is now a complete OS in 30,000 lines of code. Last time Unix was this small, it was 1977. Finally, above the OS, we install shell and chat apps, web publishing, API gateways, just enough for a simple but useful tool. Until now, all Urbits heard the same factory events. Now, your Urbit becomes yours. You tell it who it is. Your Urbit planet is both a network address and a digital identity. Your planet sounds like a name in a foreign language. It's your name. You own it, and you'll bond with it fast. And now you're on the air. Urbit is zero maintenance, by the way. It installs its own updates automatically, over its own network, forever. The Urbit network is fixed size, like Bitcoin without mining. Planets aren't digital money, they're digital land. There are only four billion ever. And when addresses are finite, spammers have nowhere to hide. Urbit is a semi-decentralized network. We created the initial keys, but no one could take your planet away. As Urbit expands, it escapes from our control. It grows into a free, digital republic. But wait. What is Urbit for? Why do you need a personal server? A Unix server is a mainframe for everyone else's big data. An Urbit server is a notebook for your own little data. Today, your cloud data is split up and trapped in a bunch of corporate servers. Imagine how good it will feel when your whole digital life has one permanent, trusted home that's just yours. And we know you can't move your whole life in one step. But you can link your old accounts to your new Urbit. Then you can command them all in one place from your Urbit prompt. We created Urbit to leave the internet behind. Join us.